Wiping is... Ugh. Tuesday and we're here on vacation at Big Bear starting out the morning with some good breakfast and I'm dying right now because this guy that has this restaurant has this pork stuff smoking over here and it smells delicious it's like smoked prime rib it sm this place smells so good I'm not getting the prime rib but if I was getting something other than breakfast it would definitely be whatever he has cooking in there because I love smoked like smoked meat smells so 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 good I, I, I believe anybody knows or most people know that um, but yeah, we're here, we're up here with Britt and my dad, just hanging out, and it's been an awesome morning so far. It's like not too cold, it's not too hot. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, and it's comfortable, rather than wearing shorts and a t-shirt at home in 100 degree weather, and it sucks. It's awesome. Oh, and Callie's joining us. Come here, say hi. Callie's joining us for breakfast, because we found a place that allows pets in the outdoor seating. Actually, they allow dogs inside, but we were keeping her outside. And she didn't want to stay home alone because new place. She did not. She did not go poop until about 20 minutes ago, which is about well, okay, maybe 40 minutes ago. Nine o'clock. She didn't go to the bathroom until nine o'clock. So from yesterday, we left at four until nine o'clock this morning. She did not go to the bathroom. She didn't even pee. She pulled in, and then we finally just walked down to a park where there was some grass instead of like the dirt that was in the front yard. And she went to the bathroom, but I, th I thought she was gonna hold it in forever. But this place is very, very pet friendly because it's called Broadway Cafe on, here on the Big Bear Boulevard. And even before we got served or seated, he brought out a uh, a bowl of water for Callie. He said, "Dogs first, customer service. Pups first, customer second. So they're very dog friendly here." Right, Callie? She's freaking out because Britt and my dad are inside and she wants to always be next to everybody. But if I'm, if the, she's in there and I'm out here, then she's freaking out that she must come out here. She's ridiculous. Check it out, check it out. This guy's got a skier back here, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. he's skiing. The lake is really low though. Lower than it, I've ever he's seen it. He has the lake to himself. <laughs> he does have the lake to himself, but. Oh, they've actually got two skiers behind them. Oh, yeah, there's two. Oh, we do. They're splitting. There he is. There's the skier. It's so low. And the Discovery Center was closed. They yeah, have to find stuff to do. Maybe horseback riding. Maybe go karts. Horseback riding. <laughs> Too. Me too. I never, saw, I never saw any. Well, we're kind of vlog failing right now. Uh, I didn't film our breakfast because we ate it too fast. Um, and then I forgot to grab the camera when we went down to the main yeah. shop boulevard kind of place to, you know, walk around, kind of check out the shop. Tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to go there tomorrow. Um, we're going to eat dinner down there. But we went and just checked out the weird shops down there. There was a great candy store that will definitely be getting some chocolate at. Brittany picked up a bag of a gummy. gummy candies. Love gummy candies. Yeah, yeah, Brittany picked up a bag of that. And uh, yeah, so Callie, she stayed at home. She was fine. I was worried. We were kind of worried because she was, you know, all crying and whatnot. But, and she hasn't been pooping like I mentioned earlier. Look at that little dog. <laughs> Go say hi. Oh, he's a he's a Cujo. He's vicious. But luckily, you know she hasn't been pooping. I think it's because of the whole dirt thing. Like she knows to poop on grass, and that's where she is. But luckily, right down the street, there's a park. Um, went there earlier, and she pooped. So hopefully that'll work, so we can uh, get her to poop down here, and then we can we're cooking dinner right now, so that she can eat at the same time as us tonight. And then maybe take her down here later if, uh... Yeah, but the coy The coyotes were really loud last night. Yeah, the coyotes kept howling down here last night. 
And Tyler's grandma had told us that um, since, like, you know, we're in a drought and stuff, Watch out they keep coming down really low by the park. So, I mean, there's like a little forest behind the park, so I don't really want to go there at night and not know what's around. Yeah, so hopefully it does not get too, too late. We can walk her down here one more, one more time to use the bathroom because she's like total in. So while we're on this walk right now, Tyler's dad is barbecuing uh, some pork chops, some corn, and some baked potatoes. So that's what we're gonna eat for dinner. And then tomorrow on the agenda, we are going fishing. We went and got our fishing licenses. Uh, we're told of some few spots that are supposed to be good. So hopefully we'll catch something. And... Fingers crossed we catch our dinner. Yeah, fingers crossed we catch our dinner. Yeah, right. We're going to a restaurant. And um, what else are we doing tomorrow? We're going to dinner in the town that we didn't film today. To okay, honestly, it's not my fault though. Me and Tyler uh, have made the responsibility of making sure one of us vlogs for a week. So last week was my week. Hence the 16 minute vlog. And this week he is just slacking. I asked him if, if he brought the camera along. He's like, no, you were supposed to. I was like, no, it wasn't, it's your week. This is a little park we were talking about. It's actually super cute. Things up here, I mean, even though it's a really small town, they're super new. Like, we got some swings and a playground, some little swings, a quilt. And there's workout gear. Let's go show one. There's also like a skate park and a softball field behind me and tennis court and basketball court. And I mean, by where we live, basketball courts, hard to come by. You gotta wait in line for them. So, let's see what workout machine. Oh yeah, well, my right arm's faster than my left. Wait, okay. Let's see if I can go the same way, and then the opposite way. Oh gosh, my left arm. All right, let's see what machine that is over there. That one? No. What I like about Big Bear, even though it's not like, oh, we're on vacation, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, it's very relaxing and quiet over here. And look how big these pine cones are. And the pine cones are like bigger than average. <laughs> let's see. See how big that is? So now we have another uh, machine that, it's a rowing well, one. I will now demonstrate. He will demonstrate, Mr. Worko. What? That oh my god. Oh yeah, this does nothing. <laughs> There's that forest I was talking about, see? It's not a good idea to come. Too, look at the sand. It's like, like beach sand. It's like, but it's like Florida beach sand. Yeah, but like these swings. Look how high they go, or possibly could go. Let's see how high they get. Kelly wants to get on too. Careful. Careful. Oh. Oh my gosh. Kelly, watch out! Oh my god. I almost knocked her off right now. And I got a bunch of sand in my shoe. Great. Don't you hate the feeling of sand in your shoe? Aha! Get so much sand. If I was a kid right here, I would want to sled down this all the time when it snows. Just like, so and maybe then, in a few months we'll be able to do it. Hopefully we come up here in the winter. Hopefully we have a chance to. Maybe for hopefully like a leave a Friday. Something dramatic will come. It's not that far away. Like a <laughs> well, we have school. Tyler, a weekend. Anyways, hopefully we can. And then you guys can come with us. Is it the snow? Like what a great incline. Yeah. Look at that. Bang. Like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> like that. Yeah, a good incline. Right, you can't really tell as well on the camera, but this is like a decent jog if you were to jog up this. Yeah. You'd be tired, so. I'm already tired from walking. She's not gonna make it very far. She's not gonna make it all the way. The only reason she'll make it is if she heard me. Dang it, 
I was gonna scare you. Did you know I was that close? Okay, I'm sorry. I knew it. <laughs> I called it. This is a hard incline. You're close too. I'm not. I'm just getting some fresh air. But I knew. I knew she wasn't gonna make it. Should bet. Should bet twenty bucks on that one. So when we were in town earlier, uh, we walked by this uh, dog treat place store, yeah. whatever, this dog pet store, and they had um, special treats. Brittany has it in her purse. We're gonna give that to Callie right now. Hope it didn't break. Why did you throw your purse everywhere? Did it break? It broke. Oh no! Okay, we'll take, show it before it. Well, we found that since we're in Big Bear, it was only fitting that we would get her a bear. This place is so cute. Let me flip it around. I can't see. It. They would like wrap it like. I'll just take it out in two pieces. It's a peanut butter bear. Yeah, for you. Give her half now. We'll give her half tomorrow. Okay. Well. There's the bear. There's the bear. We almost got her a donut, but. I'd eat that. All right. It smells like a um. It smells like a sticker. It's a peanut butter cookie. Yeah. I'm not too sure what the chocolate is. I don't want to take it back. Mmm. It's really hard. Try it. I can't even bite it. Come on. I swear. You try it. Try and bite it. Did you get a piece of it? Mm-hmm. It doesn't taste like anything. Try it. Mm. It smells like a ginger snap. When mom and dad eat your treats. <laughs> Come on, give me. Let's see how she likes this. We're gonna have it. She's gonna run away with it. Here. Give it to her. I want her treat. She's not gonna break it off. You like it? Is that good? Just give it to her. She'll run away with it. Oh. She likes the peanut butter. All right, here we are out on the lake on Wednesday, trying to catch some fish. It's really, really hot too. But Callie's loving it out here. And we got my dad's pole over there, Brittany's pole's right here, and my pole's over there. The only thing I'm worried about is all this weed stuff in here. Might be just really, really weedy. The lake is so dry. Oh. Hopefully we catch something. We've been out here for about see, 9, 10, 11, 2 hours. Update. Bird stuck again in the weeds. Got one fish. My dad got this one. I can't believe it. One fish. Not horrible. Not too bad. Rainbow trout. Edible. Callie, you want to see it? You want to eat it? <laughs> Pretty nice fish. The ducks tried eating it though. Just too many weeds right here off the shore. We see it. Really need to be on a boat. Oh, oh, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh, it broke. Did it really? Oh, wait. Okay. Might, I think you still have it. Oh! oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That sinker almost hit me right in the uh, shin. <laughs> <laughs> that would have hurt really bad. Well, we moved over a little bit. We were down on the shore that way. I came around the bend up here, ate some lunch. We're on the tailgate. Still haven't caught anything over here though. We're, they're jumping in front of us, so I'm feeling a fish coming anytime soon. Hey, duck friend. We named, pretty named all of them. That one's over there is Marcelo, Pablo, Gustavo, Mickey. Henry, and that one right there is named Paul. I don't know why she went with Paul. So we'll be out here for a couple more hours. Hopefully we'll catch some more fish. We'll head back, we'll go to dinner. We'll go to that good candy store. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love ice cream. Is it still in the pole?
Oh, he's there? Caught this one. Golly. So two for today, we're gonna let this one go because he's still swimming. Here go. Alright, little buddy. Kind of work them like back and forth. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let him kind of swim a little bit. Make sure it doesn't just go belly up right there. Kind of yeah, swoosh him back, him back, forth. back and forth like he's swimming. There we go. Good job, Brett. Set him free. We got back from fishing a couple hours ago. Right when I came home, I took a shower and fell asleep. Me and Callie have been sleeping for the past hour and a half, I wanna say. Fishing really tires you out. I mean, especially when you're sitting in the sun. I think we got down to the water at like, hmm, maybe like 9.30. And we just sitting there waiting for a bite. We did catch two fish. Uh, I did save a fish's life today because after catching the first one, I was like traumatized by killing a fish. Well, not me, but Tyler's dad. So he let me let the second one go because he felt guilty because I was like, don't kill him. So I saved a fish's life today. Uh, we're going to dinner right now. I have to do my hair. So I have this crazy, crazy lion hair going on because I just slept after I took a shower. Uh, when I woke up right now, I told Tyler, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start getting ready and then we can go to dinner. And now his dad is sleeping, so uh, I gotta wait for him to wake up. But look how light my face is, because I was wearing a hat compared to my body. And then look how burnt my chest got. That is so bad, I know. But I'm really sad to leave um, because it's just so quiet and relaxing here. Like at home, I could never nap like this and I've napped probably the last two days in a row. I can't wait to come back during the winter time when it's snowing and show you guys. It's so pretty here. All right, I'm gonna get ready for dinner and we'll catch up with you in a little bit. All righty, well, Callie is uh, getting used to being up here. She finally ate her dinner, you know, when I fed it to her. And, but unfortunately she, uh, she still won't go to the bathroom in the yard, so we're gonna walk down to the park again. And uh, twist me around here. Go down to the park, and uh, hopefully she'll go to the bathroom down there. And on another note, do you see how red my face is? I am Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer right here. My whole face is red. My arm is red. My legs are red. We did not wear any sunscreen. I think Britt already filmed hers too, but I am so sunburned. So we came here to this Laguna Grill. That's awesome, it's a new restaurant it looks like, but if you look here, right here is where the lake is, and if the water was up, it'd be coming right down in here. It looks like right next to us, so it's pretty awesome. Remember it. Good. <laughs> All right, so here's our dinner. We got a burrito, big burrito. Good ranch. <laughs> good ranch with her uh, fajita sandwich. sandwich, and Dad's got some uh, taquitos over there. Classic. That's a good sign. Right? That is really good. It's really good. <laughs> That's delicious. That delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are in this candy store and check out how good all this stuff looks. It's the fudge. Look at this fudge. Cookies and cream fudge. Mint swirl fudge. Mmm. It's fudge. Oh, it's chocolate covered pretzels. Those look good. Peanut butter cups. Chocolate covered raisins. All these gummies. Mm. Oh, that looks good. Ice cream. Mm. Yummy. And check out this sunset we get to walk through tonight. In between all the trees. Whoa! Gnats everywhere! <laughs> Look at that sunset in the trees. So cool. And who's that beauty? Ooh, 
Zooming in on your face again. Purple skies. Purple skies. Pink clouds. It's like cotton candy. And then it wouldn't be right if we didn't end this vacation this last night without playing a little Yahtzee. Good morning everyone. Today is our last day here at the cabin and uh, who is a fan of this nasty sunburn? So gross. Um, it's kind of bittersweet going home. One, because like I said uh, earlier in this vlog, I have to work for the next four days straight and then I also found out that I'm scheduled for an extra day next week so I'm going to be working like crazy and but you know of course it's always a uh, sad to leave from vacation spending 24 7 with Tyler but also this I don't know if it's a cabin or up here but I have like the worst allergies like look at my eyes all swollen and my nose is all bad but I can't believe the sunburn well we are finally leaving the cabin are you excited to go home hmm it was a fun trip and I'm sure we will be back in Couple months when we get a break on school. Ready to go? Yep. One last check. See, until next time, Big Bear.